Hi and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you how to uh, run the ARDL model in eViews. So ARDL model in uh, is uh, generally run when variables are integrated of order 0 and 1. So when variables are integrated of order 0 and 1, ARDL model is uh, very appropriate. Even though we can run ARDL when uh, variables are integrated of order uh, 1, all integrated of order 1, uh, generally the Joancenko integration is performed in order to see if whether or not uh, there exists a long run relationship or there exists a Joancenko integration among variables in order to, uh, to run the error correction model. So, but in uh, um, the case in which we have variable that integrated of order zero and one, it's possible to it's not possible to run the uh, the Johnson co-integration, but we can run the bound co-integration test that has been developed by uh, Toda Yamamoto. Uh, Toda Yamamoto uh, that uh, can be uh, interesting to uh, to run the uh, co-integration. So in this video, we'll show you how to uh, perform the ARDL model as well as bound tests in order to uh, uh, go to uh, long run uh, or co-integration form of the uh, ARDL model. So in the first time you are watching one of my videos, do not hesitate to subscribe to the YouTube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next, uh, the next video. So as we said in this uh, video, we have variable uh, that are integrated of order zero and one, and we will check check it out. So uh, we have macroeconomic variable like uh, GDP. So I have a log GDP that I I have generated here. So we can test for unit rule, for example, for a variable uh, X. RT that is uh, exchange rate. So in our model, we are going to see, for example, the impact of exchange rate on economic growth. So to run the uh, unit growth test, you just need to go in view uh, unit growth test uh, level. So we have augmented decay fuller test by default. We can run Philippe uh, Perron, KPSS, and so on. So we will keep uh, augmented decay fuller test that is uh, by default value. Then we click on OK. We can see that p-value is uh, higher than 5%. So we uh, we can say that our, um, our, the variable exchange rate is not stationary. We look at stationary at uh, first difference and you can see that uh, our variable is, uh, is uh, stationary at, uh, at first uh, difference. We can also look at variable like inflation. Inflation is a uh, unit of test level. Okay, so we can see that our variable inflation is uh, stationary because the p-value is less than 5%. So we can also uh, uh, look at other variables that we can also, we can now notice that there are variables that are integrated of order zero and variables that are uh, integrated of order one so that we can run our ARDL model. Our dependent variable will be the log GDP. So we click uh, on quick, quick estimate equation, estimate equation, log GDP as dependent, uh, independent variable, we have uh, exchange rate, exchange rate, exchange rate, we have uh, foreign direct investment, FTI, foreign direct investment, we have uh, the variable government spending, government spending, uh, we have variable inflation, inflation in our model. We have our variable uh, unemployment. So most of the time in ERGL there are problem of uh, culinary when we uh, and it's generally due to the fact that we put so, so many lag in our model. So to run our ARDL, we select uh, ARDL here in method. 
a r t l to receive this blue lab model so uh, as i was saying uh, most of the time a r d l model are uh, are not we are not able to perform ADL due to the number of lags so we have here for the dependent variable uh, default value is four lags and regressor are four lags so that's the maximum lag that we can have in our in our model and uh, the, the software evils will uh, among all possible model choose the optimal lag for any variable that will not uh, be up to uh, more than five more than four so uh, generally if I will uh, copy first of all my equation if I run the model we can see this message like uh, sing, uh, singular matrix meaning that uh, maybe we have uh, put a lot of lags in our model so uh, we will run our model in order to uh, try to reduce lag in our equation in order to maybe uh, obtain a, a good estimation so quick estimate equation uh, method ERDL will uh, put uh, here uh, first of all one lag for example and you can see that uh, the result have been have been computed we can also uh, choose maximum lag 2 to see if uh, and the method has been uh, executed residual uh, estimation uh, we can go up to 3 singular matrix meaning that we can we should uh, keep it at uh, 2 lags so we can see that our ARDL model has been computed and we can see the significance of any variable GTP uh, that have uh, many lags so uh, you can also reduce as well uh, the number of lags for for GDP so we have uh, here this uh, relationship so we can go at uh, 3 so we have uh, we can estimate all all our model that we want. So we can look at uh, uh, we can uh, focus on this uh, new model that we have estimated and try to uh, to search if whether or not there exists a long run relationship among our variable by running the uh, the bound test. So to run the bound. Uh, co-integration test we need to uh, you just need to go in view uh, coefficient diagnostic and then uh, select uh, um, long run form and bound test so click on ok and we go down into this uh, table and you can see that uh, our official statistic for the bound test is 21 that is higher than all uh, critical value at uh, 10, 5, 2.5 or 1% level so we can uh, say that there exists a long run relationship among our variable and here this equation in the top of that is the long run relationship between uh, log GDP, exchange rate, foreign direct investment and we can see that exchange rate have a, a positive uh, impact even though the impact is not significant at long run on the GDP foreign direct investment have a positive and significant impact on the GDP uh, unemployment have a long run negative impact impact on the GDP meaning that we need to put the poli policy in to, to, in order to reduce the uh, to, to promote employment so that uh, we can uh, produce more in the economy so here is the long run relationship and the bound test uh, say that there is this a long run relationship and finally what we, we need to do is to run the uh, the long run uh, the co-integration from after uh, testing for a co-integration bound co-integration test we can go on view coefficient diagnostics and uh, go to long uh, error correction for uh, here is the error correction form of the of our model uh, error correction term in negative and significant meaning that there exists a error correction mechanism 
that uh, correct uh, that can you uh, correct uh, any disequilibrium in our economy so you can see that uh, foreign direct investment have uh, negative uh, positive impact in the short run as well as uh, exchange rate that have negative impact in the short run, in the in the in the long in the short run here's the, the error correction more form is the uh, short run equation of our model so we can go and uh, to look at uh, diagnostic tests in like uh, normality error autocorrelation in view residual diagnostics uh, histogram normality we have uh, you can see that our error term are not normally distributed meaning that we can we should try maybe to change specification or adding uh, any other variable in order to have uh, a good equation so uh, this video is well just to show you how you can roll ADL in EVU as well as bound test and uh, error correction models so in the uh, order in the next video we will go deeper and explain you more about ADL uh, bound test and total and uh, uh, error correction form of the ERTL model so that's it for this video and we'll see you uh, very soon